very good evening, folks. Now I'm here with uh, my granddaughter. And what are we going to go and see tonight, Chelsea? What's happening? Sorry. What, what, what's happening? <laughs> what, what's going on? What is happening? We're Tell me. We're going to see Oppenheimer tonight. Oppenheimer? Is it Oppenheimer? I thought it was Oppenheimer. Oh, well, either or. Either or, or either. Right. So we're going to go and see Oppenheimer, which is about the uh, the chap who invented the the plastic doll called Barbie. Is that right? <laughs> the no. atomic bomb. Oh, I, th I thought we were going to see Barbie. No. Oh, chills. Maybe next time. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do All it. Right, folks. Now, the footage you saw of Chelsea and I going into the cinema there, that was last week. And this is me just out of the cinema now. The film is that long. Oppenheimer is a long, 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 long film, man. I had a shower, three meals. I went to the shops and back again, and it still wasn't finished. I was like, oh my God, man, it's going on and on. Now, the initial two hours are fair enough, that's okay. And then the bomb goes off after the test. And I just knew it was gonna be so loud that I sat there with my fingers in my ears. And Chelsea looks over and she sort of laughed. And the noise, man, it was, oh, it was, it was because it was in a, a, a big surround sound system. Oh my goodness me, the sound was horrific. Very loud, but you know, that was just part of the film, wasn't it? But honestly, folks, it's a long, long film, and my bum was numb. I'd eaten all my sweets. Chelsea Lee was bored. I was bored. It was, and I, the thing is, though, I, I kind of knew it was going to be like, I knew it was, it was going to be a long uh, political film, and honestly, I, I kind of lost the plot after an hour and a half. I just didn't know what was going on. All these characters, and they're all talking to each other, and they're all going about political move and maneuvers and things like that. Man. I, you know what? I think I would have preferred to go and see Barbie. Although, see, deep in my mind, I know it's a good film. I know. And, yeah, I had a lot of good stuff. And it's, I mean, I'm kind of glad I found out about the history of the bomb and all this kind of stuff and why it went off and why they dropped two. But, man, to force us through three hours. Now, there are some people that I read reviews said, oh, that was enthralling. I've never sat through such three hours. It flew by. My God, man, the three hours they dragged by for myself in Chelsea Lee, honestly. I, have, I fell like halfway through going, Chelsea, I just want to go. Um, the thing was, though, it was £21 for a ticket, 21 quid. That's £7 an hour. Um, but anyway, that, the lead up to the bomb, you know, that was okay. I, I could handle that. If it finished there, man, that would have been fine. Two hours was more than enough. But to drag on for another hour, we had to go for his trial and all this kind of stuff. Oh, man. And it was well filmed, you know, Christopher Nolan, he, he does all these practical effects and things, and the Cecilia Murphy was very good, and um, yeah. But the film, the, the name itself, Oppenheimer, is a great name, isn't it? If, if he had been called Smith, would, have, would the film have been called Smith? I don't think so, you know, it's just the name Oppenheimer. Um, and when I first when I saw it advertised, I thought, oh, yeah, quite fancy seen that. Christopher Nolan, he does a lot of action things, so I thought there'd be a little bit more, a little bit more to it maybe but I don't know what I was thinking really because it was going to be a political sort of thing wasn't it so Robert Downey Jr though he was very good he always plays a good part he plays the guy Strauss who was his sort of the guy that got Oppenheimer into trouble sort of thing and there's a shame what happened to Oppenheimer um, but you know and Einstein as Tom Conti plays Einstein and he has a little cameo role for uh, 10 minutes or so um, Matt Damon plays a good part a gruff sergeant and yeah, you know, the, all the parts are very well played and you, know, you can't fault it, man. It's half it's in black and white, half it's in colour to try and, and it jumps around from time to time when he did this trial and back in the time there was a spy involved and all this kind of stuff. You know, and the Russians are trying to make a bomb as well. And, but there's no, there's no action. No action at all, man. No, no action. And uh, it's quite tense, I suppose, when the, when the way to test the bomb, the countdown comes on and you think, God, I hope we're, well, you know it's all going to happen, okay, don't you? But, uh, you know. So yeah, but so I'm gonna give the film a five out of ten because it was, you know, it just wasn't wasn't my sort of thing, man. But and I'm sure Chelsea probably given up four. Uh, we should have gone and see Barbie, man. That's what we should have done. But uh, I think Chelsea really seen Barbie and she quite enjoyed that. I think I probably would have quite enjoyed Barbie actually compared to. Uh, anyway, Tony Chelsea, we are. Oh dear, it's really busy here today, man. Come on, people, let's move. What's going on here? We have a car just sitting. Uh, are you parked? Sir, madam, no? Are you going into that space there? It's always busy here at Baines. Chelsea Shin today? Oh, are you moving? Are you moving? No, you've just abandoned your car there, have you? What is going on? Oh, I see, you've been at the cash machine. I see, and you've just abandoned your car there. That's okay, you gave me a little wave. That's, that's quite all right. I'll accept your uh, 
your hand gesture, madam. But uh, yeah, so it's okay. Yeah, so there you go, Oppenheimer, five out of ten, man. But if you're in that, if you're in that sort of thing, the political dramas, then you probably love it because you know there are great performances. You can't you can't stay that enough. And it was an actual factual, an actual factual thing that happened in real life, right? Come in real life. I need coffee. Right, we have coffee, folks. We have arrived at work. Now, today I've got a slice of pizza from Baines. £1.85 for a slice of spicy chicken pizza. It's actually not bad. It's all right. Nice bit of cheese on it. Some mozzarella, some spicy chicken, and some red onion. Very tasty. We'll let it cool down, but it's just straight out of the oven, this. I'll tell you, we'll let that cool, and then we'll... Oh, I'll go for it. Hang on. Mmm. Base is nice and crunchy. Mmm. Nice sort of tomato sauce. Yeah, good bit of pizza.